And no matter where you live, you've probably felt a sense of relief seeing the fleet of West Michigan snow plows out in force. But new at six, dash cam video of a plow in Calhoun County has some folks frustrated tonight. The footage shows mailboxes damaged in the process. Marvis Herring has the story for us from Battle Creek. It's a view nearly everyone in West Michigan sees during winter, the back of a snowplow truck. But take a look at this. It's one of three mailboxes destroyed along M89 in Battle Creek. Others twisted by the force of the snow and the footage all caught on camera by someone's dash cam. We headed back to that same stretch of M89 today. Remnants of damaged mailboxes, those weren't hard to find. Even with today's Arctic blasts and snow, the road conditions are pretty good here in Battle Creek, but this mailbox has been completely knocked off. The top of it is down here. As you can see in the video, we're not hitting the posts and colliding with the mailbox. It's really that, that offshooting snow that causes the damage. Meet Christopher Bolt. He's managing director of the Calhoun County Road Department and tells me the wet, heavy snow from the past weekend's winter storm put pressure on people's mailboxes that were not securely standing. Dealing with damaged mailboxes is a delicate issue. Bolt and his staff tell me they sent out reminders for people to shake their mailboxes. It's a yearly reminder for people to test how sturdy their posts are so the snow doesn't mess things up. Some brought us a question the driver's speed. We hear that quite often and, and these okay. trucks are large and they're loud and the, the blades are scraping against the pavement and they seem like they're going faster than they are. I asked them how fast the driver was going. 29 miles per hour. That falls under the typical protocols and best practices. The department does offer free mailboxes and posts for certain situations if yours were to be damaged. 99% of the boxes are not affected, but that 1%, uh, you know, we can understand the residents are, are upset. In Battle Creek, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.